inheritance. Many programming languages have inheritance, but inheritance is essentially a way for one script to have another script's functions without having to completely rewrite the script. So I'm going to show you a visual example and then show you a script example. Okay, so I'm in this program called app.diagrams.net and I can just make something called like player object. And we want this to have functions such as pick up, pick up, and probably something like destroy. So we have that. And if we want to have a weapon that also wants to be pick be able to be picked up, we could create a new script and call weapon. And we want we don't want to completely rewrite the player object script because that's inefficient and isn't exactly very clean. So what we could do is make weapon inherit from player object instead, and then it will gain all the functions from the player object without having to completely rewrite it. Okay, now we can move on to the script example. So here in Unity, I have a player object and a player weapon. So I'm going to open both up in Visual Studio. Okay, so they're both open now. And simply we can make player weapon inherit from player object like that. And player object inherits from mono behavior, which is pretty much anything you see in game. So we can just save both scripts here and we can just create a few public variables so public string name underscore name because name's a reserved keyword like this a public float cost and you can probably just have like another function called void pickup public void pick up and we can just debug.log debug.log pick up base plus underscore name Okay, like that. And then pretty much this player weapon script has gained these variables here. So we don't even have to drag that onto a game object. Because since player weapon is inheriting from player object and player object inherits from mono behavior, we can still drag the player weapon onto an object. In this case, I'm just going to drag it onto the main camera. So we can give this a name of like just simple weapon like this it doesn't have to be anything complex and then let's just say in our start function we can call pick up and we don't even have to create a reference to it or anything because we're inheriting from the player object i'm going to let unity compile and then we can run it to see if this works and in this case it has so if you found this short video informative be sure to subscribe and leave a like it always helps out the channel and helps get videos like this recommended to you and others fun uber out